What's cooking guys? Do you want to do a smooth speed ramp in Premiere Pro like this? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in this video. All right guys, so here I shot a promo video and on the beat right here, I kind of want to do a speed ramp from this clip to this clip. Just because I'm going beside this, if I like pull this clip up, I go straight beside this kind of punching bag right here and I go right past it into the action. And then right after that, the start of some action. So to actually get started in doing that, I'm going to double click on my layer right here to open up the clips. So I actually can put some keyframes on this. So there's actually two ways you can do motion keyframes for clips. I prefer to do it within the timeline by like double clicking and opening my timeline and you go over to these this FX buttons and you can right click on them, do time remapping speed. And I'm gonna do it to both of them, time remapping speed. Or if you click on your clip and you have the effects controls open, you have time remapping over here. So if you prefer to do your keyframes in this window over here in the effects controls window, you can do that. It's the same exact process. I just prefer to do it in my timeline because I have a lot more space. So now to get started, I'm gonna try to figure out where that beat starts. So it kind of starts right here. So I'm just gonna hit M on the keyboard to create a marker. So this is where I really want the, the speed ramp to start. But you can kind of hear the song starts to build a little bit. Like it goes So I kind of want to start my keyframe a little earlier before that, but we can always adjust it. So I'm gonna go over here to add remove keyframe and I'm gonna hit that. And now I have a keyframe. So now I'm going to just pull up on this line and you can see I can move the speed. Going down is making it slow motion. Going up is speeding it up. So I'm gonna start by going to just 500%. I want it to be fast. So I'm gonna to go to 500%. And it's gonna shorten the clip of course, but it's not a problem. You just extend the clip again and here it is. And now you can kind of see this gray kind of uh, marker on where we hit the keyframe. So if you kind of click that, you can actually drag and it separates that marker. And now we have this kind of little speed ramp. A little slow, so I'm actually gonna boost this up maybe, I'm gonna say 800. Let's try 800 for now. I can always adjust it again. I'm gonna try that. Again, gotta pull that out if your clip does that. That actually looks a lot better. Now, I like I said, the beat actually hits on this marker, so I'm going to drag my clip to the end of that marker. You can either move your clip, but I already have a bunch of clips behind it, so I kinda just wanna stretch this one out, and I can adjust the other clips later. And then I'm gonna have to do a similar ramp down on this clip. Before we do that, I wanna kinda finish doing this speed ramp and make sure it looks good and ends on the beat. And that looks actually pretty good. I'm gonna just pull this out just a little bit. So I start the speed ramp a little earlier. And now we can kind of fine tune the points by you can kind of click on the, the half markers here and you kind of get these kind of box with these two dots and then you can kind of grab that and pull it and rather have a, having a straight line, you can kind of pull it and it has a curve to it now. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. You can pull it even more to the right to have it be a straight up and down line, but kind of want it to be a smooth kind of stable line like that. And if you're in the effects controls, you have your speed here. You can always hit the arrow down and then you can also see those lines. You can always zoom in a little bit to kind of see those lines a little clearer. And then you have the same kind of line you can grab and adjust. So now after you have that set to how you want and we kind of have this nice little speed ramp, I'm gonna move on to my second clip and we're kind of basically just duplicate the process. I just need to figure out where I want to actually start my speed ramp on the other side. I kind of want it to be, honestly, even shorter than this speed ramp. The speed ramp's like 20 frames. I might even do half that. So I might go to about here, and then I'm gonna click the keyframe, and I'm gonna drag this also up to 800%, and then the clip might actually jump backwards, so you can kind of just bring that back and then pull this into place, and then we can kind of adjust this a little bit, make the line, and kind of try to see what this looks like. It definitely looks a little weird. I'm, I think this is, I'm on this clip sped up for even too long. So I can just grab these points and pull them back to shorten the speed ramp and then just grab the other clip and shorten the ramp itself. And I'm gonna just smooth out this ramp just a little bit, just like the other one, something like that. Yeah, it's too fast. 
it's way too fast, so I'm gonna drop this down to maybe 600. Let's try 600. It works for this clip because it's at a distance, but now where I'm close up, it just doesn't work. I don't like the look of it. So let's try this at 600. Maybe even a little less, let's try 500. It still lasts way too long. I'm gonna basically just keep trying to fine tune this line until it looks right. I don't want it to look like it's flappy. I might even bring down the speed a little bit more. Maybe 400, let's try 400. Because I want it to be smooth from this clip to this clip. And I don't want it to look like he's kind of standing there flapping, like I said. I want it to be kind of just a zoom in past the punching bag right into this clip. But I can't just be straight into this clip. I want to have a little speed ramp, but just a small one. So I just have to keep adjusting it until it looks right. Now with some fine tuning, this is what I get. And I really adjusted the both of the lines a lot. I adjusted the peak of both clips to end right on the cut. So it kind of just smoothly speed ramps from one clip to the other. And I really adjusted the speed to this clip by quite a bit. And I slowed this one down a little bit or not nearly as much as this clip. Um, you kind of can't see since they're so close to the cut. So I'm gonna go into my effects controls and get a little closer look. I'll zoom in. You can see that my first clip at the peak is basically close to 2000 almost to 2000%. So I really ramped up that speed for the first clip because it's far away and I'm getting close to something. So I want it to be very fast, a little longer. But on my second clip, it's about, see, 500%. So a lot slower, but the reason why I did a lot slower is because I'm not zooming in to the clip. It's mainly just stagnant. So I don't want it to look like he's flopping around. So I have it shorter and less speed. First clip, very fast, a little longer, like 20, 30 frames into the second clip, half the amount of frames, and probably about, you could probably speed this a little bit more up, I would say half to a fourth of the first clip's speed. And then you get this really smooth looking speed ramp. And to really finish it off, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of a blur, very, very small blur. So I have an adjustment layer, you can just right click, new item, and then do adjustment layer. I'm going to drag this on. I don't need it that long, that's for sure. But I'm going to probably do just to the middle of each ramp, do the adjustment layer. Just kind of cut it off, pull that down. And then I'm gonna go into effects. I'm gonna type in just blur. And I'm going to do, where am I? Gaussian blur or Gaussian blur, however you wanna say it. And at the peak, I will do the max amount of blur so I'll go into my effects controls, make sure this adjustment layer is selected and I'll select the blur. I don't want too much blur. Let's try 10, nah, let's try 15. And then I'm gonna hit a keyframe for the blurriness right here. And then I'm gonna go over to the front by hitting the up arrow key. If you're not able to snap onto the adjustment layer, just make sure uh, your layer is toggled on over here. And then I'm going to create another keyframe by just clicking the blurriness and hitting zero. And then going to the end of the adjustment layer by hitting the down arrow key twice. Make sure the adjustment layer is still selected and again, hitting zero. And then I'm going to just easy ease these. I'm gonna do a bezier. And then you have a little blur to separate both clips. Not a lot of blur, just 15 is pretty good. Maybe a little bit more, not too much. You don't wanna really blow out the clip by adding too much blur and making it look weird. So I think 15 works pretty good. Watch it one more time. Really gets into the clips. And that is how you do a pretty cool, smooth speed ramp in Premiere Pro. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you can be kept up with all my other tutorial videos. Other than that, I will see you in the next one, guys. Peace.